as well as impacts on the environment, many common household chemicals also pose a major risk to human health. For example, many studies have found that the regular use of chemical household cleaning products can as much as double the incidence of asthma and respiratory problems of the users. Airmed Health Group specialise in testing the effectiveness and safety of household hazardous materials. Dr. Bruce Mitchell is consultant immunologist at Blackrock Clinic and also CEO of Airmed. Bruce, there are a lot of chemicals that we're using in our homes today, you know. Are these doing damage or are they all important for us to be using? I think, Duncan, everything is, is relative. And if you use things in an incorrect manner, they can do harm. And if you use them in a correct manner, they're beneficial. But are we abusing these chemicals? I think a lot of us don't know how to use them and don't recognise that there can be risks with some. And you see that many, many times when people are overexposed to these chemicals. The way we use certain uh, elements, we spray them. If you're spraying them, they're going into your airways. You've got to understand that. There is actually a big plume of droplets getting up into the air. You're now breathing them. If you put your head into the oven as you were cleaning the inside of the oven with the oven cleaner, you would get a toxic load of exposure. And I've actually seen that with one of my patients some years back. Who is most vulnerable? I think you would start with those who are actually using the products. And for a lot of what they do, they should wear masks and gloves and whatnot. Uh, then you have those who have asthma, or who have chronic respiratory disease, or chronic skin diseases. And then you have the, uh, the newborn babies whose immune systems are yet to be developed and those early years of life as your immune system evolves. Very often there are warning signs on the back of the products. Yes. You know, are they clear enough? I mean, if you think about what they did with cigarettes and what they're now doing with alcohol, they're going to be, put big labels on the front of the bottles or the cigarette packs. That's how you get the message across to people. This can be damaging. Something on the back that uh, most of us don't read that can be quite difficult to interpret. So what do some of these mean? I mean, sodium hypochlorite is quite a potent chemical. So you don't want to be uh, exposing your skin or your airway to this in any way. So you need ventilation as you're using it. Of course, it's a bleach. And bleach, as we know, say professional cleaners, we know that long-term consequences of repeated chronic exposures occur. And we should be very careful about limiting our exposures where at all possible. The health concerns surrounding chemical cleaners have given rise to renewed interest in homemade natural cleaning products. At Airmed Labs, we've asked them to test one of these DIY cleaners against a more typical store-bought brand. So Duncan, if you see our um, Petri dishes here, uh, we've performed a number of bacteria studies where we've applied Staphylococcus aureus uh, to our Petri dish and we put the cleaning product on the Petri dish and we're going to measure um, the effectiveness of, uh, of, uh, of the antimicrobial effect of each cleaning product. So what do you mean by Staphylo... Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus yeah, aureus. Yeah, it's a difficult word, but oh, it's, it's a bacteria that's commonly associated with um, infections in hospitals. We have this daily shower spray which was bought, store-bought and we did the same technique, we've applied the daily shower spray to the well of the agar plate and what we see is not really having an impact on the, the Staph aureus. Right, because there's very little change there, isn't there? Precisely, yes. And this is a product that you buy in the shop exactly. that's meant to do this? Yep. So what we have here is a homemade product which actually does have an impact on um, uh, the, the Staphylococcus aureus. Our homemade shower, uh, bathroom cleaner did work. Right. So it can be very successful and it's much cheaper to produce. Exactly. Homemade one? Homemade one. Really? It's surprising to see just how effective this homemade cleaner is. In part two, we'll explore if it's possible to go chemical-free in the home and the garden. <laughs>